we'd like to ask, um, MECFS is now being studied around the world as a neuroimmune or neuroinflammatory disease. Uh, in Japan, it's still widely perceived as a disease of normal fatigue. Can you explain for us in simple terms why the, the disease is being viewed and studied as a neuroimmune or neuro neuroinflammatory disease? Certainly. The first clues that it was a neuroinflammatory disorder circle around a key symptom mm -hmm. that's, that ME CFS patients share, which is that when they exert themselves, when they push or do exercise or even do cognitive sustained tasks, yes. that they will have a relapse, this worsening of their condition. When you look at other illnesses that have a post-exertional relapse, and they are all neuroinflammatory. Mm -hmm. And by relapse, you mean kind of a... They got worse. They so got worsening function. So you have function. a patient who's at a level of function that's not great, mm -hmm. but then they have this effort and they slide down. Okay. And, and, and they can anticipate it. It happens every time. Okay. And so there's not very many illnesses in medicine that has a post-exertional relapse component to it. Um, and none that are not a neuroinflammatory disorder. 30 years of research now on this yes. illness, so it's not that we're just starting, there's been quite a bit of work down this path. So the evidence just keeps mounting and mounting to the point where it's irrefutable. The, the, um, this illness as anything other than a neuroinflammatory disorder. 